Hello and welcome back. I'm your host, Ray Anyone, and welcome. Tonight we're going on pop culture. We're going on drama news. We're talking about Snow White. We're talking about Rachel Zegler. Let's get into it. Let's see what this actress has said or not said. We're not allowed to say some other words as well. Yeah. And the seven baristas of San Francisco um, and Jonathan. Let's get into it. Let's have a look. So here we are. We are at this site, InsideTheMagic.com. I've just given you a whole lot of no's just then. I'm sorry about that, people. Uh, so Disney is reported to be... Disney is abandoning Snow White and it's got a cancellation. Not the new film, obviously. The, the old problematic film from the 1937. The, the tried and tested formula that's worked and worked and worked but now we're in 2023 and things are not what they seem to be i think if you go to a fairground i think you'll be chucking ducks at balloons not the other way around um well maybe ducks at the rings and not the other way around um that's where we are in today's um so does she deserve it you know one would say no but I think this person may be so because she's not a nice person. She has led campaigns into getting other people cancelled, other people bullied. She's led these this herself um, with the very Gina Carano. She's led these, um, trying to get her fired, trying to get her cancelled, all because she put beep in, as her pronouns in TikTok land, for fuck's sake. Um and she's led these campaigns to get her fired. She's led these campaigns to ruin her career, her life. Maybe get some out there to maybe some deranged person maybe to go on attacking, you know. And she's led this. So, you know, maybe... And she's come out... She has come out recently with a tweet saying, I wish everyone would be kinder. Well, maybe if you start off, you know, lead by... If you want to be a leader, maybe lead by example, um, which you haven't done. Maybe, you know, she maybe learn from this. Hopefully she does. Um, she 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 said uh, one of the... Because um, this film's not coming out until next year. There's so... There's fucking ages till this film, film is out. And she's... She is absolutely destroying it. And Disney cannot, will not cancel this show this film but disney have painted themselves into a corner they cannot get themselves out um by allowing these activists in and not yeah you know, and doing all everything they can to to their wants their demands and if you don't they will come out and they will expose everything they will call you old names under the sun and uh, just because you maybe don't agree with something, something. Now, they cannot cancel this new film with Rachel Zegler because she is of Colombian descent. Um, so, yeah. And she's woke. You know, she, the cat, the cat, cat, there's nothing they can do. Well, a lot of companies would actually fucking fire her. But the cat, because the cat, if they if I fire this or cancel this show, then everyone on the woke the the woke sphere will come after Disney and they will shout the loudest, even though they probably pay the littlest of them all. Um if I, I dare Disney to do it, you know, just cancel it, just put it on the back burners and just see what comes out of it and then see what comes out of it after because you'll still be in the same spot. You, you're worrying. Well, I don't know why I'm saying you're worrying. You're fucking painting. You, you put yourself into this fucking corner. Deal with it. So, although this film was nineteen, uh, was made in 1937, released in 1937, it saved Disney. It absolutely saved Disney. Um, it put Disney on on the mark to to them buying every fucking thing in the universe. Um, if it weren't for this film, Disney may not be a brand as we, you know, as we know of it as today. Um, so back in 1937, this 
this story has been told n not just 1937. It goes back. Um, I think it's a, a German folk tale. Um, it goes. It goes absolutely back. It's a tried and tested formula. Tried and tested um, throughout the years. This will stand the test of time. This story um, and what the woke nonsense is, is trying to rewrite, trying to to make it better. It it will it'll fail. It will fail. I'm sorry. It is. It's just got to fail. Um, yeah. How many countless of these films have failed, and they're going to continue to fail until. Well, Disney will not turn round. They will keep going. They will keep going until they they have to. They have to stop. They have to put a full stop to this. To be released, released in 2024, um, Zegler has begun, uh, has been a subject to criticism over comments she made in to prom in attempt to promote the live action. This is one of her quotes. You've probably seen this all over the place. I'm very late to the party. I just mean it's no longer 1937, uh, Zegler said. Um, she's not going to be saved by the prince. She's not going to be dreaming about true love. She's dreaming about becoming the leader she knows she can be. And that leader that her late uh, father told her that she could be if she was fearless, fair, brave and true. Now, was you fair when you went after Gina Carano? Was you fearless when you went after Gina Carano? Was you true when you went after Gina Carano? Brave, you was probably brave in your own mind. Uh, but I won't call that brave. So, yeah, that that's just one of many. One of absolute fucking many of takes this woman has had. Um... And to top it off with a tweet saying, I wish everyone would be a little bit kinder. No, you should start off. Lead by example. You be kinder. And then people... I'm very late again, but I want to be make, making this video. Uh, a lot of YouTubers want to be making this video, and TikTokers and Rumblers won't be making this sort of video because there wouldn't be that story. Because you were led by example. You wasn't nasty. You wasn't trying to cancel someone. You wasn't trying to get someone fired for not having the same opinion as you. Disney's... Anyway, this is the mirror. Disney's Snow White actress went from Hollywood's next big thing to most scandal-ridden star. Scandal-ridden, eh? A little bit of uh, gossip maybe so this is from a couple of days ago the 21st of august rachel zegler is set to star in snow white yada 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 um live action remake disney's classic um but the actress has sparked major controversies in the lead up to hollywood blockbuster fucking look at these adverts on mirror no wonder no one uses your fucking website mirror come on get better the start of Disney's up and coming like so we just read that, come on. Uh, the live action remake Snow White has caused backlash after blasting the original film. That as well, she's blasting the original film. She's saying, you know, it's not progressive enough. It's it's like like the quote I just read. Um you're not allowed to say dwarfs anymore. You're not allowed to... It's Snow White and the Seven Baristas of San Francisco. All with pronouns of non-binary and vim, ver, and zizas and, and pop, cope, cope, pop. And, you know, sorry, I just read it there and I thought that might have been funny, but I don't think it was. Um, Rachel Zegler shot to fame after beating 30,000 others to land the lead role of Maria in the Oscar-winning uh, 2022 version of the West Side Story. This led to the 22-year-old being touted as the Hollywood's newest darling. Apparently, this film fucking flops. Um, the new, the 
20, uh, 2022 version flopped. Flopped hard. Flopped hard. If it had a belly, it'd be fucking red because it flopped hard in the water. Um, even, the, even the male online are having a go. Uh, Jan. Snow awoke. The star of New Snow White has l- labelled the prince as a stalker. That's another thing she said about this uh about the snow white um i i i love it when these actresses saying they they don't see themselves in like snow white or little mermaid but there's clips there's old clips of him saying i pretended to be snow white when i was little i pretended to be little mermaid when i was in the pool i i you know so you you could actually see yourself in these characters it's like it's 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 like me yet when i when blade came out the first marvel action superhero film came out all then many years ago starring the absolute amazing wesley snipes i could see myself in wesley snipes brave badass kicking vampires asses you know i saw myself and countless many others saw themselves from from black from white from asian to indian you know, even from the uh, Antarctica, I think they, you know, even the fucking murderous robots on that planet, you know, what's near ours, that that planet full of murderous robots, even they saw themselves in Blade. It, this this film is, is just going to tank. Disney, please keep on doing what you're doing. Um, you're making people very happy uh, by destroying yourselves, me included. Um Saying that, I do pay for Disney Plus. Why? Because we've got fucking shit, nothing on it, really. Uh, what, do I, what? I did watch it for Secret Invasion, and I think I forgot to cancel it. <laughs> fucking asshole I am. Uh, but what, there was, oh, Ahsoka's coming out, and I may have to see how bad that is. I'm not a Star Wars fan. I cannot stand Mark Hamill. But when he wasn't such a fucking nutter you know i when i first saw them films i didn't really like him as a character as is you know didn't didn't uh, i didn't connect with the character Uh, i didn't see myself in that character saying the prince is a stalker is is another thing it's it's just so so silly and these the Snow White has the Snow White Snow White has continued for so many years because people we we like that sort of it's it's like when you you compare it to food we go back to our old favourites we go to comfort we go to comfort food we go to comfort films to watch when you know when you need a bit of comfort you know, or you 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 go back to an old fateful film that you you you've seen so many times because it's just comfortable or you're drawn to these story even if someone hasn't seen Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs people are drawn to these this story because it's a comforting story it's a story that's been been told throughout the time uh, since people could actually tell stories it's been told and and it people are just drawn to these these sort of stories yes you can make new stories and they're not making new stories disney is the worst for him they're just rebooting the rebooting everything and race swapping gender swapping the main characters so for instance, Snow White, you know, Snow White, you know, she's Snow White because her, her skin was white as snow. And uh, now she's a Colombian, um, Snow, Snow Colombian, you know. I'm sure there is Colombian stories out there that are probably, f- that would probably go in today's day and age far better than a Snow White story. Or as equally as a Snow White story, should I say. But Disney, a lot of these Hollywood production studios will not 
dare risk the money, the time to to maybe you know tell tell one of these stories because they just they want the already built in fan base. They already want the built built in fan base that the they assume's gonna just pay because it's Disney and it's Snow White. I it's wrong. You know, I'm not going to get myself worked up over it. I like Snow White. A very long, 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 long time ago, I was since I watched it. I watched the horrible remake with the uh, the horrible woman from Twilight. That was horrible. Chris Hemsworth was okay in it. Um, you know, very forgettable. Um, but these this this film, I I do predict it's going to fail. How badly? No one. We will not know until 2024. I'm not even that bothered of when it's going to come out. I really can't. She's, she said some awful, awful things. This last. And then, this is, that's an old video, this, of her posting that she's been, she's getting death threats. This is an old video it's from a couple of years ago, so they're just trying to rehash it to, to make people feel sorry for her because, you know, yeah, it's it's what the media does. They gaslight you very easily. They and because a lot of people do do just take the the media's you know always oh, got the mail, so they will just take it as you know as the truth when it's it's not. Yeah, uh, and also if you're saying you've been deaf, uh, if you're saying you've been sent death threats and crying about it, show these death threats. Because that, that's a serious, serious um, crime. Or oh, that's a serious, serious accusation. And no one should be getting the sent death threats. And we should be all um, trying to defeat that. But generally, these the people that say they've been sent death threats generally don't show them. Or if they do, they maybe show one. Three, I think, was the most I've seen. And three, three is enough. Three is enough. One's enough. But when they're, they're saying that they've got like hundreds and hundreds, well, show these hundreds and hundreds. Don't just say it. Show it. Um, son of original Snow White director wades into Rachel Zegler's uh, remark, remake debate. Uh, even he has come out. The son of of the animator who directed the original Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs has lambasted Disney uh, forthcoming live action remake, which stars Rachel uh, Ray, uh, Zegler. Twenty two has received criticisms from some Disney fans, which is surprisingly repeatedly suggesting that the original storyline was no longer fit for modern audiences. Well. I assure you that storyline is fit for modern audiences. That storyline should be told to modern story uh, to the modern audience. Maybe we wouldn't be in such a shit show as we are. No one seems to be caring about this planet full of murderous robots. Please, if you stayed to the end of this video, please type in the comments, murderous robots on that planet. The murderous robots on the planet out there in the solar system we absolutely wrote a snow white that she's not going to be saved so no, i've gone all over that that's about as enough as i can take from this snow white absolute classic absolute classic film fantastic why on earth you can't call them dwarfs anymore i don't know Anyway, let's uh, let's have a let's go. If you're not, if you haven't liked this, don't pick on little uh, rare ready one. Pick on big rare ready one. He's bigger than me, and uh, I'll see you in a second. So, what are your thoughts on the old Rachel Zegler situation? Um, I I really couldn't care less to be honest with you. I've got to be honest. I'm doing a video because you know, let's put let's put another penny into it. Um, that that penny jar is overflowing. I think right now. Um, but I, I'd love making these sort of videos. Uh, I I would love to make more of them. But 
you know, just time and everything. Um, drama at the end of the day, gossip, drama, love that sort of stuff. Um, I do wish where we, the timeline we, we are in, I wish we wasn't, wasn't in it, but we are. So let's make the best of a bad situation and let's roast the people that are saying the stupidest things. You know, I will probably get roasted one day. You know, I've been roasted many, many, many times um, for the stupid shit I've said in the past. And, you know, internet's going to internet at the end of the day as well. Uh, if you haven't liked what I've said, I thank you anyway for the watch. Um, if you're going to say something mean, you're going to say something mean. You know, it, like I just said, internet's going to internet. If you have liked this video, I thank you. And uh, if you have liked it, please, please think about giving me a like. Please think about subscribing to me. I've been Rarity One. I will see you in my next video. Peace.